number nine. Uh, write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction that occurs when solutions of a barium chloride. Barium chloride, let's see. Uh, barium is the main group two, so that's going to be barium chloride. And a sodium carbonate. Are mixed. Refer to table one on page uh, 437. It's actually page two, or sorry, uh, 427. Uh, for solubility rules, uh, general solubility guidelines. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, write what I'm mixing. I'm mixing barium chloride, and I am putting it in solution. I'm also mixing in a 2 carbonate, because carbonate is a minus 2 charge. You need 2 sodiums to balance that out. That is also in solution. <coughs> now, uh, we're going to have a uh, replacement reaction here. Barium is going to couple with uh, the carbonate, and the sodium is going to uh, pair with the chloride. The only question here is, is one of these things going to form a solid and come out of solution, being a precipitate? So uh, we look at uh, Table 1, General Solubility Guidelines. Uh, most nitrates, acetates, and chlorates are soluble. Most chlorides are soluble, except for those sulfates. Uh, oh, number five, most carbonates, phosphates, and silicates are insoluble. Okay, insoluble. And so if I successfully form a barium carbonate, that's actually going to be insoluble. So it's not going to be in solution. It's going to be in solid form. That's a precipitate. I also have my NaCl, which is most certainly soluble. Let's see, let's balance this real quick. We got C seventy two over there. Bam bam. Boom boom. Alright, that looks good. Looks nice and balanced. Moving on to um and again, I know this is a solid because I looked at the table uh on page four twenty seven. I'm uh, looking for solubility rules. If it's insoluble, it's not going to be in solution. It's gonna be a solid, that means a precipitate. Barium carbonate is insoluble. We're going to be, uh, to which of the five basic types of reactions does this reaction belong? Well, the key here is I have two different binary compounds, and in the end I have two different binary compounds. So this is a double displacement. 